personal note, as a clairsentient, I've experienced a blunt jab under my ribs when in the presence of a spirit that died a wrongful death. My throat chakra activates along with what I can only describe as a coolness behind my eyes when a communicative spirit is nearby. Even when the spirit is not present, we may still experience physical reactions to events that occurred on site. Residual energy can be felt, heard, and sometimes even seen. Regardless of these things, or perhaps because of them, it is really important to shield yourself from what you're able. My method is to use energetic shielding. I've yet to have a spirit follow me home or carry any negative energies back to my doorstep. I've also yet to find any shielding, warding, talisman that can prevent a spirit from touching me. Among the most notable times was at Old Montana State Prison in Deer Lodge, Montana, where I was slammed by a ghost so hard it spun me around. Flip side, I was also steadied at the top of the steep staircase at a venue in Seattle, Washington, by a spirit taking hold of my elbow. He said his name was William. And so, living is learning. I share what I've learned and continue to learn as I search for answers to my questions. Thanks again for watching. Consider subscribing, and I will see you next Wednesday. Take care.